Let's take a look at the chart action for Cardano. Okay, so Cardano ADA has been trending down for a while now. And I've been watching these orange lines. I had limit orders on these orange lines because they're the previous bottoms. If we come back to the previous or to the past, we had a bottom right here. I'm on the daily time frame. We had a bottom right here at around 102. We had a wick that came down right here at around 98 cents. And then we also had a wick that came down here at around 91 cents. This one was 98 cents. This one was 102 and this one was 91. So basically I had these orange lines set up as limit orders. I was hoping that we could get a bounce on them. If we go into the recent price action, it looks like we got a bounce, but it looks like we went a little bit lower. The thing that I'm watching right now is this downtrend right here. Let's go ahead and delete all these lines so we can get a better look. We had resistance, resistance, resistance. Watching this trend line going down like this. It does look like we broke that trend going to the upside. The other thing I'm watching is we have support, support, support. This kind of looks like a falling wedge pattern in my opinion. And we did break it to the upside. We're not getting a lot of green volume, getting a pump to the upside necessarily, but we did break this trend line. So I'm kind of curious how far we're going to be able to ride this momentum going to the upside. If we jump over the four hour time frame, this is another thing that I'm looking at. We have support, support. Let's go ahead and do a uptrend. So basically I'm watching this line, this trend line going up until we break it going to the downside, then I'm hoping that we can get support on it and we could push going to the upside. If we jump back over the daily time frame, if we can continue this movement going up and not break this trend line going down, I'll be looking at the previous resistance levels, something like that. Let's go ahead and set up some horizontal lines so we can get a better look. We have some resistance right here and then we have another one right here. Basically, if we can keep this momentum going up, then these will be my next targets pretty much. And these targets are sitting around 119 and 1.60. Like I said, we're not getting a lot of green volume, so I'm not really sure how far we're going to be able to ride to the upside or if we're going to break it going down. I think if we break it going to the downside, I'll be kind of watching these the, the new bottoms that we kind of made right here, maybe something like this at around 74 cents. Let's go ahead and set this up as orange. And then we have another one, maybe something like this at around 85 cents. So hopefully if we come back down, maybe we can get bounces on these ones. But like I said, we haven't broke going down yet. So I'm kind of wondering how far we're going to go up and maybe we can hit these targets up here. In general, I do like the way this falling wedge pattern is but I don't like the volume. I'm back on the four hour time frame, and it looks like we're having a little bit of trouble in this area right here. It also kind of lines up with this resistance we had right there. So let's go ahead and clear some of this stuff out. Let's clear this top of this falling wedge out and we'll do a trend line, something like this. We have resistance and resistance. I think if we could break this trend going to the upside, this will be a good signal for us. And this trend line is sitting at around 96 cents, 97 cents. I think if we could break this trend line going up, then we could get more confident on this next target of around 0.119. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys liked the video, hit that thumbs up button.